Welcome to my studio. Today I'm working on a sailing painting, 16 by 20, with lots of action with wind, boats, and sailors. I like to make sure that my lines, my mast, and my hulls are accurate. So I put a pencil sketch on the canvas, and now I'm just mapping in my underpainting. These darker areas are the swells of the water. And now I'll put both the sunlit area and the shadows into the sails. Those sails look really dark, but as we add color to the sky, you'll see that we have to darken them even further. I notice that my horizon line is not where I want it to be, so I'm quickly just drawing in my new horizon line. Adding some trees, little hillside. This painting is all about the boats in the foreground, so I won't be adding a lot of detail behind them. And this is a distant piece of land. It gives a more three-dimensional feel to the painting. My thinking is that I want a fog bank behind the sails. You can see just adding that color is pushing the boats forward in the painting, which is what I'm after. Adding some warmth to the fog bank and just working around my sailboats. Now I'm going into the upper part of the painting, the large expanse of blue sky. Once I have that on, I'll just work on adding a few little sails in the distance. I'm going to make that sky deeper. Notice how the shadows on the sails are looking light at this point because I've made the sky a much richer blue behind them. I'm going to darken those sails in a little while. Let's start to put a hint of wave action, cresting foaming water. This is done with an old brush. I find it's the best tool. I just move it along over the paint and create a rhythm. This is the first swipe at painting the waves. We'll come back to this several times. But you're already getting the feel of the water and the swells. To bring some sunlight into the background trees, I've mixed up some cadmium yellow and a little bit of cadmium orange. I'm just mixing it in with those darker greens. The light on the sails are so warm, I want it to be rich and glowing in the background. As I looked at this, I realized the fog bank wasn't doing anything to help enhance the painting. So I've put in a more blustery cloud bank. I want the feeling of the breeze blowing right across the surface of the water. Wispy clouds. Lots of action with very little detail. Working around my sails. Now you can see on the left hand boat I've already darkened the sail and now I'm going into my right hand sail and darkening it. It was just too light in value. A little more detail, a little sunlight really, on those sails in the background. Just hint that there are sailboats back there, nothing more. Let's step back. I'm going to add some deeper value to the water in the foreground. Just where the wave starts to break, it's darker. Yes, that's me with a paintbrush in my mouth. I run out of fingers sometimes to hold all the brushes. Little spots of white caps. This is the fun part of the painting, working on the water at this stage. But now to the hard part. These boats were very empty. They can't sail themselves, so I'm going to add my figures. I work with a neutral brown, and I'm not too worried about the shape as long as the body is right, and there's a head on top. Working on both boats, just indicating where I want my figures to be. I 
and then casting a shadow along the side of the hull, it transforms the static boats into moving sunlit objects. I'm going to add a little more color, a little lighter color around the shadows, which will emphasize the light and dark. You can see I've put some of the rigging on the boat closest to us. And now I'm going to do the secondary boat. You need a very sharp, fine, chisel-edged brush to do this. And a ruler really helps. Just don't mess up the paint underneath. We'll put our little flags on top. And this is coming along well. Now it's time to add color to our figures. This is a great way to introduce some warm colors and a little bit of action with just a few little touches of light. A little lighter in the background. We're just about finished. Some cast shadows on the sails. It helps to break up that big area of white sunlit sail. It also brings the figures forward, the sails back. Now it's time for the final pass through the foreground water. Everything's working well. I'm using a brush loaded with titanium white. I save this pure white until the end of the painting. Stroke by stroke, I build up the water in the foreground. Do this slowly, you'll know when to stop. All we need to do is sign it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.